Hi, welcome to the first video of this section regarding configuration in salesforce.com. So this first video will be all about how to create custom fields that will hold additional information within any standard object in the system. So this standard objects are like accounts, leads, opportunities, or contacts, or even hold information in custom objects as well. So custom objects will discuss later on. So this section will discuss how to create these fields along with some other tasks that can make your custom field requirements successful. So first off, we'll be discussing how to create the actual custom field. Second, we'll be defining the custom field attributes that will influence behavior of these fields. And thirdly, we'll be discussing how to specify field security and page layout options for these fields. So for our example, we'll be creating a custom account field for Mojo Electronics. With most accounts from Mojo Electronics being migrated from an old legacy system, we would need to create a custom text field that would hold all of these old account IDs from the legacy system into Salesforce. So also we would need the field to be unique in order to restrict data uniqueness explicitly at point of data entry, whatever data entry method we use, whether it be from a data migration tool or through the web interface. So first off, let's just go to the setup menu. Let's just go down to build, select on customize. Let's navigate to accounts and click on fields. So on the account fields page, let's just navigate to the account custom fields and relationship section and click on you to create our new custom field. So on the next screen, we will be prompted to select the data type for our new field. In Salesforce, there are several data types available, but scanning through the notable ones, we have the following fields. We have formula fields. So formula fields are calculated fields that are derived at the runtime and will be discussed in a later video. Next, we have roll up summer fields. Basically, it's, these are fields that are calculated from the values of any related child objects. Next, we have lookup relationships. So lookup relationships are fields that link two objects together. Next, we have picklist fields. So picklist fields are fields wherein users can select a value from a predefined option. Next, we have standard data types like text, number, email, phone, as well as text area. Recently, Salesforce just introduced newer fields like encrypted fields, which can be used for passwords or sensitive data like card numbers. Uh, we also have geolocation fields, which contain latitude and longitude data and can hold positions within a map. So for our example, we'll be creating a simple text field called legacy ID. So let's just click on text and select next. So first, let, we'll be entering the custom field label for our field. So let's just enter legacy ID. Next we're going to be entering the length of this field. For the, since this is only a legacy ID field, we'll just be setting it 20. We're going to retain the field name at legacy underscore ID. So just as a FYI, please be aware that this field is a unique name and follows the same unique name rules in other components. It is also important to note that the custom field name is used in all integrations, as well as custom code, whether it be Apex or Virtual Force. So please take note that changing this field name might affect pieces of integration of other pieces of code that any developer would develop in the future. Next, let's enter optional custom field information like help text and description. So help text are basically displayed as a text bubble next to the field. This can aid new users in adoption, while description goes a long way for administrators of the system. Additionally, we can use description to keep track of field changes as a note on fields. So let's just type in for help text legacy ID from old system. And for description, let's just say used in middleware integration. This will help administrators take note that this is a very important field for integration purposes. Next, let's enter field attributes, which could influence the behavior of our field. So first let's select unique. So unique defines that this field should only have unique values within the whole system. So for the case sensitivity of this field, let's just select case insensitive. Next, another attribute we would need to specify is whether our field would be an external ID. An external ID is any field that is used as an identifier from an external system. This attribute helps integration in data migration tools such as Data Loader, since this would allow matching of records based on this unique ID directly from the data loading tool. So on the next text box, we can enter a default value for the field, wherein we can enter a formula deriving an initial value for our field. For this example, we'll be leaving it blank, but we will discuss default values in a later video. Let's just click next. 
So after specifying our field attributes, we can start setting up the field level security for our new custom field. For our field legacy ID, we would want the field to be visible to all, but read only for everyone except system administrators. So in this page, let's just select a visible checkbox to select all of the profiles in the system, as well as double clicking on read only, and then unchecking it for our system administrator. So this would ensure that the field is visible for everyone and read only as well, except for system administrators, which would allow them to edit it for data migration purposes. So let's just click on next to proceed. So after setting our field level security, we can also specify which page layouts our field will be added to right away. So to do this, let's uncheck add field and let's just select account layout. So this ensures that only profiles with the page layout account layout would see this field. So to finalize our changes, hit save. Although we already added our field to the layout, we might still need to fix the layout for the field in the page layout. So don't worry, we'll discuss how to organize page layouts in a video later on. So this brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we discussed the following. First, we've discussed how to enter custom field information and select the appropriate field type. Next, we have discussed also the how to enter custom field attributes like uniqueness or the field being an external ID. And lastly, we have specified how to define field level security and how to define which page layouts the field will be added to. So the capability to create custom fields is an important tool for any administrator and knowing all the different attributes and features around it will help in aligning our custom fields with the requirements of any organization. So in the next video, we'll be discussing how to create record types and page layouts.